So this is going to be a very quick video on how to choose a processor and a motherboard which are both compatible with each other. For this I'm going to be taking you an example of an AMD processor, although the same general gist will apply for Intel processors and I'll take you through what stays the same and what will change for that. So the example I've got is my own processor which is the AMD FX8350 and my motherboard which is the ASUS Crosshair V Formula Z. So for my processor, and you can in fact do this for any processor, uh, you want to Google search the socket type that it supports. So for my processor, which is the from the AMD FX lineup, so I Google search that, and it comes up with a socket type of the AM3 Plus socket. And now I want to Google my motherboard and see which socket that has. So this one has the AM3 Plus socket as well, and therefore I immediately know my processor and my motherboard are compatible. So this applies to any processor or motherboard you have. So you just need to simply find out which socket your processor has and which socket your motherboard has. And if they're exactly the same, then they're both compatible. Now, there are a few circumstances where different processors can fit into different motherboards. So you may have a later motherboard and have an older series processor in it. And that's because chipset supports other processors at the older sort of standard. Uh, this, I believe, is what is on my motherboard. So I can have a AM2 or AM3 um, processor in it. And that is perfectly fine. That would in fact work with no problems at all. And yeah, if I really want to, I could do that. Uh, but to ensure this, and it's not on every single motherboard, it's only on some motherboards, uh, you want to go onto the supported CPU for the motherboard. This is going to be on the manufacturer's website somewhere. I unfortunately can't say because it's going to be different on each website. Um, but you want to see the list of supported CPUs, and if your CPU is on that list, then it is supported. And that is simply all you need to know. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, then a thumbs up would be great. And if you want to stay tuned for more of my sort of videos uh, similar to this, um, I'm hoping to increase my workload shortly for it, uh, then subscribe. Uh, or if you think there was a problem, then don't worry to leave a comment in the description and I can try and fix that for later videos. So thank you for watching and goodbye.